Well, it finally happened. A broken spoke sheared right off at the nipple. So I'm gonna twist it around one of the other spokes and then keep heading towards New York. Find a bike shop. Just stayed outside a motel in a motel parking lot. They were closed by the time I got in here last night. All right, I'm just gonna wait here for another hour until the bike shop opens. I got sorted out by John, local bike shop owner here. Replaced the spoke and tensioned everything up. Traffic means we're getting close. We're still 20 miles outside of Brooklyn. Going uphill in traffic here. I have to blow by these guys. To keep my momentum. Here we go. 6,000 watts. Sometimes you need it. All right, let's see if this works. Oh shoot! I don't know about this. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! <laughs> and I didn't expect it to be right now. All right, that's an overnight shipping emergency right there. The hitch sheared off where it connects. Went back and found a part. So that's where it's sheared off, right there. When it sheared off there, the bike tow arm surged forward. And then the wheel went forward into the disc and the disc was just cutting into this aluminum fork. The brake and signal wires for the rear tail lights sheared off the plug. Although I still have the plug so maybe I can reattach them. Well, maybe I'll sleep here tonight. I can't carry the bike and uh, it's too heavy. I can't, I need both hands and all my strength to carry this, especially on any kind of slope. So I'm kind of stranded here. I can't risk leaving one or the other. If anything, I guess I'd put the stabilizer legs down and leave the camper here. It's so unusual, probably be a difficult thing to even think about how to steal properly. Looks like I also bent a couple spokes Right there. At least they're not broken for now. There's a good few uh, hardware shops not too far from here. Uh, what is that? It's, oh, a, it's, a, it's a bicycle camper. A bicycle camper with a solar panel. So you can just sleep in there. Yeah. Can you yep. Nice. It's a multi purpose pod. Living, camping, working. Sleeping. Probably think it's some kind of like trash bin or they don't know what it is. Trash bin? What the heck is she talking about? Oh, we're into, we're into Argentina. Uh, I wanna get to, <laughs> I wanna go all the way. All the way to the south. Yeah. Is, well there's a little echo up in Colombia. Probably, I have to get a ship around the Darien Gap. <laughs> I've been there, that's it. Oh, 
I'll let you lead the way. I guess I gave you the hard job. <laughs> Yeah. His camper broke down. Yeah, my bicycle camper. It's, bicycle it's camper. uh. And he just wants to like, he just, no, he just wants to like leave it and store it overnight. I have no suggestions. To yeah. It because it's probably nowhere it's safe to, and then if you park like park it on the street, someone took a plane. Someone took a what? Complain, complain about oh. it. How do you haul it? With that bike there, that cargo bike. This one. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. How long are you stay here? Well, I like I'm doing overnight shipments tonight. I've got a welder who's hopefully gonna fix it tomorrow morning, so I could be out of here by. Well, I mean, you got a legit reason, you know. Yeah. For repairs. Right. Like I'm not gonna be here for oh, the week or okay, anything. Yeah. But. Yeah. It's so you know what? Anywhere around here, honestly. Yeah. All right. Nobody's a complaint, you know. It's it's just uh. I don't want to send you nowhere and then like those people's gonna be curious. Yeah. Like what is this? They're gonna wanna to touch your stuff, they're yeah. gonna to wanna, to, you know, I don't want them to annoy you. And next thing you know Well, well the main thing is just safety first, right? Like I don't wanna be Yeah attacked know, in my sleep or something. Where do you like, think? You wanna leave it somewhere here? I, I would I I would be very comfortable with all this, these cruisers. This area is higher traffic. Okay. If you wanna leave it like say somewhere there, there, even yeah. that corner, even somewhere over here is okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right in front of this building, you want to be right across, but as long as you leave a nice walkway, yeah, I don't see why not. You know. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> right. This, Thanks this for is, hearing this me out. This is a weird uh, <laughs> scenario. We don't get this too often. We don't get this at all. Here's the update. I rode 30 kilometers downtown and then over into Brooklyn to meet my welder. The bike was making all kinds of noises some kind of knocking that I have to investigate and figure out what it is once and for all. And there's a little bit of play in the rear wheel, so I don't know if that the accident with the hitch yesterday caused that or if that's just wear and tear after a thousand kilometers. I did get the broken hitch welded, so I, th I think I'm going to start with the repaired hitch and not use and just keep the back up with me so if it happens again, then I can keep going right away. There's the police station, all the police cars. Uh, I just want to make sure no package arrived for me, for Jeremiah Brown while he's away. No, no, yeah. any packages delivered here, they usually bring them right up to the desk here. Okay. No, but not, nothing yet. I've never had such nice police friends. It's a far cry from when I was a young man and I was on the wrong side of the law here and there. Feels good to be on the right side of the law and have allies in the NYPD. <laughs> Now they're excited about the trip too. So I'm going to put the repaired hitch on. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see where he put two fillet welds on either side where it's sheared off. And it's not exactly straight anymore, but it doesn't really matter because I can just move it around the tube. So I think I'll go with the repair, see how long that lasts. I'm still getting the backup, brand new one of these, arriving at the front door here tomorrow. Or sorry, today. So I'm just going to camp out here today. I'm learning a lot about some adjustments I might need to make here going forward. What do you think? Is it going to hold? They're wrong. Like they wait when the train's going to stop. Yeah. If they know the doors are going to open, that's when they snatch. Because people are so oblivious. They're like breathing or whatever they do. Right. You're not prepared. So, so and I don't want to be a victim. So far, so good. So. Say good luck to you. Okay? Yeah, thanks. Hang in there. Hang in there. Thank you. I was talking to Officer Estrada. She said the crime in New York City right now is worse than it was in the 80s. Basically, the longer I stay here, the more I'm setting myself up as a target.
This is where I'm camping tonight. It's an RV park on the pier overlooking the Manhattan skyline. Bonus, if you stay here, you get to watch a drive-in movie. I like it. What a day it's been. Lost my wallet in Central Park. Rode 30 kilometers back to go get it over two bridges. It's been a bit of a tough day, a bit discouraging. But I will resummon my morale for tomorrow. I still think this thing looks beautiful. Cyberdrop goes to New York City.